a llama. <laughs> it's a monster in death. Hello and welcome to another studio vlog. So today is a little bit different. Uh, I was recently looking on an old hard drive and I found some footage, basically sort of a whole video that I just never uploaded anywhere and I thought that it would be great to actually compile those clips into a video, into a studio vlog format, so it kind of follows along the normal structure. But this was footage from last year before all this lockdown madness when going out and seeing friends was just a normal thing that you could do and this was for a costume party. So Jack and I were making costumes of Yzma and Kronk from Emperor's New Groove. So this is probably my favourite costume I've ever made. So I thought it would be sad to let this footage go to waste and that is what we're gonna do today. Also, I thought in the meantime that you guys are watching this video, I would actually draw an Yzma, maybe a Kronk too, we'll see how things go. So I will check in with you throughout the video and show you the progress really. And then at the end, I will show you the final thing. But as I said, this is probably my favorite costume that I've ever made. And I was so happy with the result. So hopefully you enjoy seeing the process. See you in a bit. What are we doing today, Jack? We're gonna do some crafts, crafts. Yay! Crafts. Crafts. So we've been invited to a party. Yep, a birthday party. A birthday party you're too tall I'm I too need tall. to <laughs> so I, so I hold, so I hold the camera no it's okay I can hold it like this yeah and cut off your eyes yeah so today it's going to be kind of in the style of a vlog because this isn't going to be something that we're doing like just within a day and just as a disclaimer before we even get into it this is not a tutorial obviously if things go well then feel free to copy our methods yeah. however this is more of like we want to make these costumes so let's try and make them rather than like we know what we're doing because we don't we have been invited to a birthday party to ruby's birthday party to be more specific and it's currently sunday yeah we've got one week well less, less than, than a week six days it's on saturday so we have slightly less than a week to make some costumes yep. and the theme is cartoons yeah so we thought it would be fun to do a couple's costume. There's a film that I'm absolutely obsessed with, Jack also very much likes. Yeah, it's a good film. And <laughs> so we've decided to go as Yzma and Kronk. Yeah. And we're gonna go as them in their regular outfits because we think that'll be like the most fun. We thought about going in their scientist outfits, but mm -hmm. we want to challenge ourselves. Yeah. So. And the height difference kind of works as well. It does, like I am not stick thin at all and I have curves um, but I'm going to use the power of makeup. I'm just going to be tall that, Yeah. and big. That's and my, we think that's Jack's going to wear a wig as well I as I might part. wear a wig, yeah. So that could be fun. On the table at the moment is the stuff for my costume. So there's a Jack. There's a me and I am surrounded by things. So this ring is basically going to go on top of my head. It doesn't fit on Jack's head but it's going <laughs> to... It's, that goes around my neck and that's gonna make the neck piece. These are several feathers. This is a feather boa, so I'm hoping to wrap that around that. These are long feathers, so I can have like a sort of- A plumage. A plumage effect. Here's some wire, so I can make her hat. There's tights, so I can wrap the tights around the wire and then put this on top. These are earrings, I'm gonna stick blue panels on because that's her earrings. Yeah. And that's basically it. And then we've got some shoes and some nails. So we've got some very funky dad sandals. Nice. Courtesy of Primarche. Yeah. Primark themselves. And then we got a scarf thing to do a sash. Because he yeah. has like a weird like sash thing. Yeah. Like is it instead of a belt? And then we just bought t-shirts. Um, so he's got his, was it a blue shirt? Yeah. And then he has like gold trim. So then yep. the idea is then we'll use the yellow. To, to make the gold. trim. Yeah. And then he has like a skirt. So we bought two purple t-shirts. Which we'll make into a skirt. That we'll unpick and make into some kind of like skirt thing. Yeah. And then he's got his swag bag. Yeah. From, you know, the scene where he like runs down the stairs. Um, with his own theme music. Yep. So the plan is, is to basically bundle that up, 
Make it into a bag. You know what? And then it's Woo! like, a, it's little, like perfect colour. Casual as well. bag. And it's, yeah, they're all perfect colours. And then he has his little hat. So we bought a beret. So we bought a beret. And then we'll fix that down. Fix it down and put a little thing on top because he has a little, yeah. little thing on top. And then I'll wear maybe a wig and have a shave. Perfect. But my costume's a little bit easier than Xanthi's. <laughs> Mine's a little bit more ambitious, bit shall more. we say. So, so here is our table of stuff. Um, I think what we're going to do is just try and stick a load of things. We've got glue, like glue gun stuff. And I think we're going to go just a little bit gung-ho into it and just yeah. hope for the best. And it might be that something doesn't work and then we'll reevaluate and maybe reorder some bits and pieces if things aren't working. Um, but yeah, it's just gonna be testing things out as we go. Having some fun with it. Having some fun. Cool. Easy peasy. Easma peasma. Easma peasma. <laughs> Let's take out this feather boa. See whether it's any good. Oh god, it's molting already. <laughs> okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is wrap it around this and see how that works. God, it's molting everywhere. Oh no. That's okay. God, it really is. No, look. Come on, everywhere. Oh my god, it's molting everywhere. Yeah. What, do you, what do you think you're doing? Also, controversial. Uh, Put more feathers also, in there. No, you could also paint. Iron yeah, I could do. Which actually would stop a lot of it. Look. Da da. Two t shirts. Very good. Bow bow. I'm going to hide out. Hide out here. Oh, yeah. Bow bow. That's going? already looking quite good. Yeah, that's pretty convincing actually. But he's got. Oh my god. <sighs> this is in my mouth. Oh, if I do it like that, it's just because I was doing my shoulders like this. This pencil's terrible. I've just got back from work and I thought I'd fill you in on what I did last night just because it got a bit late, we watched film, we like, you know, did chill stuff. So with this polystyrene ring, a lot of the paint was coming off on my hands and was dying anything that it touched. So I was a bit worried that because this would be around my neck, that it would dye me in some way. So this actually echoes my voice. That's so weird. It's like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Anyway, so I Mod Podged it. I've used Mod Podge loads of times before um, and I just had a pot lying around, didn't even plan to use it. But actually this is giving it a nice shine and sheen. So that way it won't need to use as many feathers. I've ordered another feather boa just because like one wasn't gonna cut it. I think I'll just put the other one around the other side. Um, still need to make the hat. And I think that'll be the trickiest bit, but I'm not super worried. So yeah, just gonna do a bit of craft, have a bit of brownie, probably watch something and carry on crafting. Ow. <laughs> I am currently wrapping this 
feather boa around this. I mean, it's fairly self-explanatory, but what I'm hoping is to fill the entirety of this. I've got another feather boa coming. I don't know whether I mentioned that or not. Um, and then I can use the longer feathers to sort of come outward like her costume. Um, I hope this makes sense. Kind of makes sense in my head, so hopefully it does to you. Good times and bum times, I've seen them all and my dear, I'm still here. Plush velvet sometimes, sometimes just pretzels and beer, but I'm here. I stuff the dailies in my shoes, strummed ukuleles, sung blues, seeing all my dreams disappear, and I'm here. Da -da 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 -da. Maybe I should glue gun this straight away, and then that's kind of done. Yeah, maybe I should do that. here. I hope you're enjoying seeing the process of the costume so far. As promised, I have been drawing Yzma, so right now I've done my sketch and I've now kind of created a lasso outline of her, so I love using the lasso tool and I think it brings sort of like this really interesting geometric feel to the pieces and then I like to go back in and make it a little bit more sketchy and make all the different parts textured and more in my style. So I thought that would work perfectly for the style and aesthetic of Emperor's New Groove. So yeah, that's where I'm up to right now. Also, just wanted to check in and say, if you haven't already, don't forget to like this video and subscribe because I make studio vlogs every single week. That's where I'm up to right now and I will check in with you guys at the very end and show you the final picture. But let's get back to past Xanthi and Jack. Today is Saturday, it's the day of the party and I can't take myself seriously right now because I've got a huge amount of feathers on my head. So this is what uh, I've got up to over the week. This is her neck piece that's going to go kind of round my neck. I've got some lovely purple, I think they're ostrich feathers. They're, they're longer so they're going to be poking out in different places but I need to put this on and see whereabouts to put them um and like place them really but i'm really happy with how this is looking like with a couple of feather boas and some extra feathers and a bit of glue um this has turned out really really well in fact let me put this on now oh my god you look like a head sticking out of a big feathery nest and then i'm gonna pop these around the back i think yeah yeah, like pew, 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 pew. How many have we got? Ten. Okay, we've got two packs though, haven't we? No, just one just of these. Just put one of those. But that's okay, because I don't, I don't want them around the front, I just, just want, want them around the, the back. In the back, like a, yeah, yeah. yeah, like a high collar. Yes. Nice. So we're gonna do that, um, and... <laughs> and yeah, that's basically what I've got to do, and I've got to try and make a hat. 
Um, but I have a few ideas and I've already kind of made the shape in wire. Don't know whether, yeah, you can kind of see that. So we'll be doing that later as well. And hoping that everything works. Because <laughs> oh, yeah. we're winging it, but yeah. Exciting. Yeah, so I'll do smaller ones towards the front. which I've now finished. I think now I've got these feathers in, it's starting to really come together. And when I put it over my head, I look absolutely crazy, but I really like it. I definitely look like I'm a cartoon character, like someone really, really extravagant. I mean, it looks a bit mad at the moment. I look like I am just a floating head, but I mean, sure, fine. Um, but I think this bit's done now. So I'm gonna work on the hat was actually a lot simpler than I thought it would be. Okay, now I've got to get out. <laughs> now I've finished the neck piece, I've got to try and work out how to do her hat. So I bought some wire and the wire is actually quite thin. It's craft wire, but I think it's thick enough for me to attach it to this black hat, like turban thing that I bought. So, what I'm going to do is make my wire the length that I think it should be and then try and attach it to the hat and then I've bought a pair of purple tights which I'm going to sort of wrap over the top so I'm going to get two pieces of wire have them like slightly further apart and then they'll meet at a certain point and then wrap the tights around so I hope that works but let's see <laughs> quite stable like surprisingly so but yeah now we've done absolutely everything so we're gonna go and get some dinner from our local supermarket and we're going to go and get some purple makeup Ta -da. <laughs> there we go 
Okay. I feel so extravagant right now. You, you look it. You look so extravagant. I haven't even got my hat on yet. Okay. You look incredible. Thanks. I love these feathers. These feathers have worked out yeah, insanely well. You look very cozy as well. Yeah, I do. I feel quite cozy. Yeah. And also, it's like not modest. Modest. <laughs> so I can decide throughout the evening how, how I want to feel. How deportress you want to feel. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't really know how to put this hat on, I guess. Delicately. Head. Yeah, that's on your head. And the transformation is complete. <laughs> you look like you're living the dream. I love this so much. I'm it, in my happy place. That's an incredible costume. <laughs> Hands out. Take take a couple of steps back. Okay. Should I put my heels? Yeah. I've got my heels on. Go and go and stand in the kitchen. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's awesome. Look at you go. Every now and again. All the time. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. That's so funny. And actually, we didn't really spend that much money. No, basically everything we bought was from Hobbycraft or Primark. Or Amazon. Yeah. Well, the feathers were Amazon, yeah. Yeah. Like, what? 30 quid? Yeah. Thereabouts? Yeah. And you have the dress. Yep. So, doddle. Got the dress, got the dress. Da 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 da. Also, I'm quite happy with my makeup. Yeah, have a, let's have a little look. Nyx, Nyx is go. like, oh my god. Wait, let's focus. Let's hold it down. That I bit. did hold it down. Yeah, that bit. There you go. Oh, it's going, it's going. Ah, there I am. So, yeah, I think. <laughs> oh my god! See me in the viewfinder. Yeah, I think actually the wrinkles work really well because we went, we went and got. Um, a makeup palette from NYX, and I'm absolutely loving NYX makeup at the moment. Mm. Like I never used to really dabble in eyeshadow, eyeshadow palettes because I don't really have much of a crease in my eyes, don't have much of an eyelid. So, but actually like going there and getting the purples and the pinks and then doing the wrinkles with the purples and pinks and browns, yeah, that's really it's nice. made it less like horror, mm. more cartoony. Mm. So, and look at these! I mean, so these were ear, I mean, you can kind of see, but I've literally just cut out a bit of card, <laughs> stuck them over the top of one pound earrings from Primark. And look at my shoes! Very nice shoes. Witchy, witchy, witchy. <laughs> right, should we get ready and then get going? Yes! And now we have a cronk! Woo -woo. You look so good! Look at you! Here we go. So we've got the top, stitch, yeah. the beret, my Edna Mode wig. Yep. Yeah. Got a swag bag. Yep. Yeah. We've got socks, lovely socks, skirt. Socks and sandals. Socks and sandals. As as per you have to. <laughs> yeah. Got, got to do it as textile. You look so good! And we drew on Jack's eyebrows. We did. <laughs> <laughs> so great. Right, you ready? Yep. Right. <laughs> so, we're about to head to the party now because we're all ready. I hope you enjoyed seeing us transform into one of my favourite Disney films ever. I'm now going to go and have lots of alcohol, lots of fun with friends, as is Jack. Yeah. <laughs> I have to duck so much just to get into frame with you. Bye! Hello! Well done if you've made it this far, you would have seen the whole process, hope you enjoyed seeing that. As you can tell, I just absolutely loved being in that costume and I'm going to try and find another opportunity to wear it when we're out of lockdown because I just loved being at Yzma so much. <laughs> so obviously I checked in with you guys throughout the video but now I've finished Yzma, oh, I love her, I think she looks great. So this is my final picture. I really wanted to bring in some kind of alternative colours that aren't necessarily in her costume. A lot of my work is sort of very textured and usually very bright, whereas Yzma's costume is mostly purples and blacks 
and I wanted to sort of switch it around a bit so I put some turquoises in there, some light blues, that kind of thing and made everything look super super textured. I really like the style of it actually, I think it's worked quite well. I didn't have time to do cronk in this video but I think I'll be putting a cronk on my Instagram so if you want to go and see what I can come up with for him then go over to my Instagram at Xanthi Simmons and other than that that's it that's the video <laughs> well done if you got this far thank you so so much don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you very very soon bye